What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to create a liquify warp style text in Illustrator. All right, y'all, go ahead and find yourself some typography to work with and type out something cool. And once you have that, our first move is to actually select all your typography and then go up to your type menu. And then in the type menu, we're going to go to create outlines. Now we can manipulate our type using the warp tool. And the warp tool should be over in your menu. But if it's not, go to the three little dots right here, hit that, and then you'll find it in your tool navigator. Go ahead and click and drag the warp tool to your menu. And then once you have it in your menu, double click. When you double click, that takes us to the warp tool options. And what we can do is create a different brush size. For today, I'm gonna to go with 90 points, keep the angle at zero and the intensity at 90. I have my detail set at two and my simplify at 30. Make sure that you have show brush size so you can see what you're doing and how big your brush is compared to your type. Hit okay. Then once you have your warp tool ready to go, you can go ahead and create some drippy and trippy effects. Another cool thing I like to do is decrease the brush size on the warp tool. So I'll go back and forth between large and small brushes and basically create more of a liquefied and controlled effect. If you guys have learned anything up until this point, please hit that like button and definitely subscribe. Thanks. And one other thing that I do like to do is use the brush tool. So go to paint brush tool or hit B on your keyboard, double click. And then on here, we're just gonna tweak our tool options a little bit. We're gonna fill in new brush strokes, make sure that's checked. And then on our pixels, I'm just, well, yeah, I'll just leave that at 16. And then on fidelity, we're gonna go to smooth and that's just gonna smooth things out. And now we can kind of just add some little dots of splatter. And then I'm going back to the warp tool and we can go ahead and warp those little splatters we just created. And there you go, guys. This is the liquify and warp technique in Illustrator. Hope you dug it. See you on the next video.